Yes, fish fans, it's only Bonesy, and this is how to tie a leader knot. Now, before I get started, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, because if you're into learning some of these bits and bobs, there's loads more how-to videos coming from us guys at Team Trekker. So what is a leader knot? A leader knot is the knot that you use to attach two pieces of line together, whether they're braid or whether they're mono. Now, it's very, very simple. I use a very simple knot and I've always used it and it's always worked well for me. I use a back-to-back -back three turn grinner knot. Now, what I've got is I've got my spod braid here, which is my main spodding braid. This is the 30 pound signet spod braid. And then I've got my shock leader, which is a 50 pound shocker. And this is gonna take all the force of the cast. So what do I do? I take my two pieces of line, and I put them together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of them. To start with, I will take the actual mainline braid. I make a loop, hold it next to the shock braid, and then I'm gonna pass it through three times. So once, twice, three times. Then I'm just gonna moisten it up, pull it down very gently. Now I'm not gonna tighten it real tight at this point. I'm just gonna pull it down so it's just about ready. I turn it round and I'm going to do exactly the same with the shock braid. So I make a loop right next to the mainline braid. I'm going to pass it through three times. So there's one, twice, three times. And again, very gently moisten it up and pull it down. And then all I'm going to do is take hold of my mainline and my shock braid and I'm just gonna give them a very gentle pull and tease them nicely together. Once they get together, I'll give them a good pull, tighten them right down, and that there, you can see, is a perfect leader knot. Never had any issues with this knot. Some people like to do it four times through. To be honest with you, I've always found three is plenty, makes the knot a lot smaller, and you can see that is never coming apart. So what we do then is we just need to trim off the tag ends. Now don't trim them too close, leave about a millimeter away just in case the knot pulls down a little bit more so I'll just trim off another mill there we go and that's it now that there is never ever ever coming away and that is good for not only your spod but that's also good for fishing when you're tying monos so if you've got like a higher breaking strain mono for your shock leader and a lower one for your main line that knot will work exactly the same so that there is how I tie my leader knot. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because there's loads more how-to videos coming from us guys at Team Tracker.